Hey guys, so I'm really excited to share with you uh, these items I have here on the table. I went on an awesome pick a few days ago and uh, I came home with some really good stuff. And uh, somewhat long story short, you know, I put ads uh, on the internet looking for old military stuff and uh, a lady commented and, you know, and we got to talk and everything, talked on the phone and uh, it turned out she's 85 years old and uh, her husband passed away a few years ago, unfortunately. And uh, he, he collected military stuff for about 60 years. And he had a, a huge collection and everything. And she's uh, wanting to move to downsize because they've got a big house. And it's just her now. And so she wants the stuff gone. You know, there's just so much stuff. She's got to get it moved. She wanted to go to a good home. So like I said, we talked on the phone. And I went to her house. And I spent two hours with her, you know, visiting with her and talking to her and looking through some stuff. And uh, she really liked me a lot. You know, we got along great. And she said her husband would have loved me. And, uh, you know, she's excited that, you know, younger, a younger person is interested in this older stuff. And, um, you know, we just had a really good time. And um, she said I could come back any time and do some more picking. And um, I was actually planning on going today, but, you know, she was feeling uh, kind of under the weather. And so uh, we talked about maybe one day next week I could get back over there. But like I said, I got some really good stuff here. I was really excited. I had a great time. And um, you guys are going to be blown away with what I have here. And like I said, hopefully I can go again, you know, maybe the next four or five days or so. And maybe even two or three more times. But um, I'm going to go ahead and bring you in here. And, and i got to show you what I got. Alright guys, so check this out. This is what I got from that first pick from that lady. Like I said, her husband was a collector for like 60 years, she said. And uh, the collection is really big, and I'm really excited to go back again. Um, a lot of what he has, honestly, is from like the 50s, 60s, 70s. But he does have some older stuff, you know, that I'm going to be picking through. But um, everything that you see here, I'll kind of pan the area, and then I'll kind of go over the items with you. Everything you see here on this table, I got for a total of $300. Which, uh, you know, is, uh, I believe, a good deal. And she was more than happy with that amount. You know, we talked about different things and values and stuff. And uh, we ended up settling, you know, $300. And like I said, I don't even think she was expecting that much. She was very excited to get that. And um, she was glad that these items were going to a good home. And so I'll start right here. I've got a model 1943 field jacket overall in really good shape. Would have been for a bigger guy. Definitely bigger than me. What's cool though, this one's got the first army patch on there. It's really awesome. Now I will say this lady's husband, he was a Korean War veteran and he was friends with a lot of World War II veterans and stuff. And uh, he was in like uh, these different clubs and groups and stuff and they traded and bought and traveled and stuff. So a lot of this stuff came directly from, you know, uh, veterans, World War II veterans and such. Um, so I got that jacket there. I got another one here, and I check this out. This one is actually dated 1945, right there. So this be towards the, you know, the tail end of World War II. It does have model 1943 hood attached to it on there, and this thing's in great shape. I don't even think it was ever, ever issued. Just in really good shape. This would have been for a really big guy, also. Right here, I got a set of HBT, uh, you know, herringbone twill fatigues in great shape i believe unissued and it does have the pants like i said it's too big for me but um so you got the um stars right there on the buttons overall in good shape no names or anything but um i was really excited to pick these up so got the three jackets there moving on here i got another set of double buckle combat boots uh this is my third set of them and uh this one right here actually is missing a buckle somebody stuck velcro on there to make it stick but overall these are in really good shape for their age they stuck a uh, newspaper down in there to hold them upright but uh i just love the you know the look of these and everything and um see they were made by well upside down i'm sorry made by goodyear the only thing about this one right here is it's got a replacement heel on it. The heel has a good rich replacement on it, whereas you see the other boot here 
has Goodyear, and then you know the soles Goodyear also. So the the heel has been replaced, which you know those kind of things happen. But I was really excited to get these. Moving on here, I got this 1942 dated 1911 holster made with Boyd. It's 1942 overall. It's in great shape. Really, really good shape. Glad to have got that. Got a couple 50 caliber shells here. Uh, this one here is 1943, and it is still alive. It's not deactivated. And then I got this 1941 dummy cartridge. Practice cartridge, dummy cartridge. So, you know, I like the ordnance things. They display well. Got this World War I German sawback a, a bayonet. Or, you know, also known as the Butcher Blade. See, it's serrated right there. I couldn't imagine getting stuck with this. That wouldn't feel good at all. Made by Solingen right there. No scabbard for it, but I've been wanting one of these for a long time. Finally got one. Got a, you know, just your basic 1942. Got an M1 carbine pouch. Got a World War I. Uh, it's dated November 1918. This is a 1911 pouch for 1911 magazines. I actually got two more 1911 magazines here. These are World War II era. Uh, you got 1942, and I believe this one's 1944. So I was glad to pick those up. This right here, I've already got one, but it's a, a muzzle wrap, basically, for an M1 carbine, 1944, which I guess they could have used them on a Garand also, but um, this, you know, would have protect dirt and sand and stuff from getting down inside the barrel and gumming it up. Um, I'm not exactly sure what this is. I want to say this is for like extra, you know, bullets, 1911 bullets maybe for the 1911 uh, pistol dated uh, September 1918. See, so he's got the little pouches and it uh, fits onto, you know, a pistol belt. But like I said, I want to say this is for extra, like maybe 45 bullets, you loose bullets. I might be wrong, correct me if I am, but that was really neat. Got this really awesome U.S. marked uh, pistol belt. And uh, this is actually 1941. It looks like it's basically mint condition, unissued. Now, uh, I did get some uh, 1949 uh, 30 .30-06 rounds. And uh, this ammo is actually made in France. I've never heard of it before. See, it says 762 on there, which is the designation. Basically, it's a 30 .30-06 round. Um, but like I said, it's a... Uh, 1949 dated ammo and it's got supposedly cordite and from what i've read it's not very good for an m1 grand so i probably won't be shooting it in my grand but still really cool collectible ammo got a couple canteens here this one right here it does have the the cup and everything excuse me just a second oh, there we go now the cover is dated 1952 so that's korean war and then uh Bear with me a second. A canteen is a Volrath made in 1943. And the cup, it's hard to see, but uh, it's kind of rusty, but it's actually a 1944 cup. Doubt you'll be able to see it, but so that was really cool. Another canteen here. This one, uh, GPNF, 1943. And uh, the cup here, I couldn't find a date on it, but it's I'm sure it's World War II era. Sometimes, you know, the stuff was stamped lightly. Moving on here, I got two mess kits. 1944. And um, this one here, let's see. If I can open it up. This one only has a fork. It's only got a fork. See, it's got Salinas etched in there. So I'm guessing that's the soldier's name. It's also... Etched right there, Selena. So that was really cool. Got this right here. This is a 1942 mess kit. And uh, this one actually has two forks and one spoon. Got one there. Got that one there. And then the spoon, so that was really cool. You know, it's always good to find the utensils. Too bad there's not a knife in there, but somebody ended up with two forks. I'm telling you guys, this pick was awesome. I had such a good time. Really good time. 
this is really neat here. Most of you guys know I'm a religious guy. Uh, this is the New Testament Bible. And this right here is dated 1943. If I can get to it. Bear with me a second. There we go. 1943. And it's uh, two, looks like Glenn Drulaw, Drevelo or something from his mother. It says, may this keep you safe from harm. Basically, this would have been given you know, by a family member or a loved one to a soldier. Kept in his breast pocket. And you see it's got a gold-plated um, metal cover on here to protect their heart, you know, from a bullet or shrapnel or whatever if they wore it in their breast pocket. That's really neat. Check this out. Got a paratrooper first aid uh, pouch. Uh, it's not dated, but I'm pretty sure it's original because this guy, I mean, I just don't see, you know, an older man getting into reproduction stuff. I'm pretty sure this is original, even though I don't find a date on it. But this stuff is really hard to find. Uh, the original stuff is, so I was glad to get that. I've never owned one. Got a World War One Model 1917 Doughboy helmet. There's a heat stamp ZD-185. It's got an awesome lighter in there. Chin straps gone, you know, dry rotted, but really great shape. Really great shape on that. Got me a bandolier here, and it is full of 30 caliber M1 carbine ammo. I'm not going to dig it all out, but see, it's all down in there. And, um... It's all dated between 1952 and 1954, Lake City Ammo, which is good stuff. I've got this World War II Marine Corps. This is a personal effects bag. See, it's got the tag on here. Serial number, name, you know, uh, killed in action, disease, hospital information, description of the body and everything. Would have had personal effects put in there from somebody who was, you know, killed or maybe wounded in the hospital. In, in the hospital, got this small uh, um, forty-eight star flag, which is really cool. Love my flags. I got a total of eleven M1 carbine magazines. I got four thirty rounders and seven fifteen rounders, and uh, these top three here are actually all loaded with fifties um, uh, Lake City carbine ammo. I got a total of 162 M1 carbine 30 caliber rounds, and I got 80 uh, total M1 Garand 30 out six rounds. See, I got seven in block clips here, which five of them are loaded with the 1949, the French um, 30 out six rounds. And then I also did get a 1911 magazine here, but um, I'm not sure if it's a uh, original or or what aftermarket maybe i'm not sure it looks original but i couldn't find a maker on it or anything and i also got this right here because of what's inside of it I can open it up let's see bear with me i'm sorry here we go this has a bunch of uh, older random bullets and stuff in here this one right here well crud it's actually cruddy but it's dated 1944. I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not. 1944, 30 six round. And then check this out. Let's see. 1943, 30 six. This one right here is awesome. This right here is 1918, World War One round, live, never been fired. I love the older ammo like that. It's awesome. And then just some, you know, some oddball stuff here. What does that say? Super speed, 220 swift. Um, same thing there. And just, you know, some random. There's some 45s in here. It's 38 special. There's a Peters made 45. This is a 50 caliber bullet here. But, uh, you know, just some oddball stuff. Like I said, I like ordnance and ammo and stuff. But, anyways, that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, I got all of this for a total of $300. You know, which, like I said, she was happy with the price, and, you know, and it, it worked out great. Uh, and I'm definitely going to go back, you know, and, and hopefully get some more good stuff and do a part three or maybe even a part, I'm sorry, a part two or maybe a part three of this video. But um, deals are still out there, you know. There's still people, you know, wanting to sell collections and everything, so don't give up. You know, like I said, I'm always out there advertising that I'm looking for old military stuff. And, um, you know... 
along the way you meet some really incredible people you know like this lady is 85 and i've met some other people that you know have invited me to their homes and and that we've shared you know they've shared stories with me and, and we've had good times and everything build relationships and that's what it's about you know but um anyways guys as always thank you so much for watching uh more videos are on the way i was going to tell you i'm working on my man cave it's looking really great and i can't wait to share it with you guys uh, it might be another week or two, hopefully no more than that, but um, it's it's really awesome. I'm really excited. I've been working on it for the past few weeks, and uh, so stay tuned. Please like, comment, and continue to share my videos, and if you haven't already, please subscribe, and uh, I'll be getting back to you guys. Thank you.